Greetings, everyone. Core here. It's time for another unboxing, and it's going to be the Marvel Collector Corpse box of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. <laughs> and once again, I do get these right before I do these videos, and I open them up here for you guys. So you're seeing it just as I see it for the first time. And of course, on the front, you got a nice little baby group. Taller group, more or less. <laughs> But a lot of people prefer to him as Baby Drew. And I'm really anxious for this movie because I am going to see it uh, the next Thursday. And see it in the Dolby Theater, uh, the Dolby Atmos Theater. So it's going to be really nice. Hopefully, uh, with all that music, it's going to be really sweet. Uh, but here you go. Nice little look in the inside of Baby Groot, Tolly Groot. A couple of the logos and bad guy from previous. And oh no, it's just a. <laughs> That's the Guardians crew. For some reason, I was thinking uh, one of them looked like Ronan the Accuser, but no. It's just all the Guardians. Well, Guardians Volume 1, because Guardians Volume 2, supposedly there's going to be a couple more. Uh, and of course, you get your patch, the Star Lord patch, which I believe in the first Guardians one was the Star Lord patch 2. Could be wrong about that, but pretty have a different one. It's definitely a different color for sure. I know that if it is the same Star Lord. And you guys, a nice little pin, which is Gamora. Which this Gamora is actually, I don't even see it too well. Uh, you can see it's actually more of the actress Gamora from the Marvel MCU than her uh, comic book reference Gamora. <laughs> which that's usually what they usually go these guys off of. And in case you're wondering what's going to be coming in two months, it's going to be the Spider-Man Homecoming box, which I am anxious for because I feel there's going to be a deluxe figure for this one. And I kind of feel it's going to be a deluxe vulture, maybe with his wings, you know, bigger size, something. Um, which, that's going to be cool. Uh, so far, the Spider-Man ones have been really cool. Uh, next out of the box, you get your comic, which is interesting. It's Secret Empire number one zero actually with a nice little rocket and dancing group that okay so this is my favorite comic book cover so far just because the little group little rocket jamming out granted of course they stole star lords <laughs> uh walkman but <laughs> nonetheless next we get the shirt which is a nice black shirt and it looks like it's going to have all the pop versions of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Which these have been really getting really cool. It kind of reminds me of the Star Wars ones. Uh, I guess it's kind of their, you know, it looks like a movie poster pretty much. And it's just their pop fight. <laughs> pop a fight. Which they look really cool. Especially now with the pops out there. How, how much detail is going into these things now. I'm definitely going to wear that when I go see the movie. Uh, next, we have a Dorb's Bride, which is an exclusive, and it is nice. Star Lord in his uh, ship, the Mal Malonia, Malonia, which I believe was act named after an actress that he was in love with when he was younger. And let's go ahead and open this guy up because I definitely want to put him on display. Of course, I am. Well, but here we go. Here's the ship. This is a cool little ship. It's interesting because it only has wings on one side. Unless I'm missing a piece. I'm probably missing a piece. Probably if I'm missing a piece. Yep, I'm missing a piece. <laughs> I was wondering. I'm like, I'm pretty sure his ship is not. Uh, not symmetrical like that. There we go. Which is pretty interesting because the box they keep it smaller because they could have made it bigger to balance off the ship. You know, having that extra width because it is pretty wide and it's definitely a little bit bigger than the box. And of course, you got your nice little Star Lord, <laughs> which is really nice. And he's actually wearing the shirt from the trailer. You can see, but probably not too well. And he just hops right, he just pops right into it. Oops. A little loose. Gotta be careful with him. 
there you go. Nice list of large ship. This is pretty cool. Uh, I think I, in the previous video, I'm pretty sure I, I said maybe a dwarf's ride, um, and I'm, or some kind of ride pop uh, going into it. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's really cool. Um, and of course, if you've seen the twitters or anything like that, you know what pop is inside, which is a rocket raccoon pop with little baby Groot on his head. Now let's go take a look at him. And of course the nice thing is he's a bobblehead. <laughs> and the funny thing is is that uh, you see little baby Groot is also a little bobblehead too. <laughs> so they're both little bobbleheads. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> this is really really detailed actually pretty well you can see they do they it's pretty crazy how far they've gone in detail uh, as far as the, the pops and everything uh, I guess that's what money does is it allows you to go more crazy with your designs and especially with technology and everything making it more easier to you know cast these but that is really cool little little, little group turn his head better so you can look forward <laughs> That is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to collect these guys now. I do have a uh, life-size, quote unquote, uh, taller group from Target, and of course I have the Dorbs collection of the Guardians too as well. But man, I I loved the first Guardians of the Galaxy box because it was more like Christmas theme. It had the mug, it had the scarf, which the scarf was really unique. I actually used it. Um, and this one is really cool for the collectible stuff as far as the comic, as far as the pop. You know, the Dorbs ride, the pop that was inside, which now um, most of the subscription boxes, they're actually telling you what the, what the pop, the exclusive pop is for the box, which I kind of don't like. I kind of like having it as a surprise, but it was interesting because Marvel, the Collector Corp box, was the last one to actually do it. Star Wars was the first, and then the DC one. Uh, I don't know if that says too much about how well the Marvel one does. Granted, it was the first one to come out from Funko, but yeah, it's really interesting. I kind of liked it when that, it was a little bit of a secret, um, but now we know what's coming out, so it's really cool. At least you know how many you want to order. Um, but the Dorbs ride, that was a shock. Uh, a good shock, of course, and then the shirt is really amazing. This is probably... This is probably the best from uh, Marvel box, even DC and Star Wars box I've gotten so far, and that's pretty impressive considering we've gotten some really cool stuff out of these boxes. But uh, yeah, so that's it for the Marvel Collect Corp box for this month. So in two months we'll have another one. Uh, I'll have a review for the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two coming out next week. And I should have a Stanley unboxing of his box within the next couple of days, maybe a week. Um, it shipped, so hopefully I'll get in a couple of days. But till then, guys. Later.